Well, we're doing quick sports from Eastside, Dave, as we get ready for the money shot code word about 15 minutes away. Dave, sports, what do we got? Okay, well, we're going to start with some football where the Chicago Bears played the Washington Commanders last night, Thursday night football, and the Bears destroyed Washington 40 to 20. Mm, this after somebody on the show yesterday said I should put all Everything. my money on Washington. Put it all on uh, on the uh, on the uh, Bears. Oh, oh yeah, on Washington, on Washington. right? There yeah. goes my whole life savings. <laughs> All eighteen dollars. All eighteen dollars are gone from the uh, Gots bank happened? account. The Bears actually scored a bunch of points. Huh? Justin Fields threw for two hundred eighty-two yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Um, they look good. I mean, people were suspecting that the Bears are are trying to tank, as everyone wants Caleb Williams out of USC, who people. is projected people. to be you a lock. Were saying that yesterday, yeah, even me, even me. I'll be honest. The Bears improved to one and four. Washington drops to two and three. Um, we are going to stay the, with the Bears for a second as legendary Chicago linebacker Dick Butkus has died at the age of 80. Oh, oh no way, man. really? Legendary uh, player, of course. Boy, that, that dude. People oh. are, someone just still got up from one of his hits. When I was a kid, I would watch the NFL uh, bloopers and hardest hits type yeah. tapes that you could actually rent at your local right, right, video right. store. It was all over that, right? And Mike Ditka played like a WWE guy. <laughs> like <laughs> it was like clotheslines and yeah. like body slams. He wanted a wrestling you match. Yeah. If you got hit by him, you felt yeah. it for, for months. Literally yeah. like 90% of, yeah. of, of, of uh, I mean, I shouldn't say, uh, not Mike, uh, Dick Butkus. Literally like 90% of Dick Butkus is like tackles like would be outlawed right. in today's game. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. He was, that but, dude was badass. But it was a different game. In 65 to 1973, he played with the Bears. He earned eight Pro Bowl selections, five first-team All-Pro selections, and, of course, the Hall of Fame in 1979, first ballot Hall of Famer. Uh, so Dick Butkus uh, passed away at the age of 80 years old. And then mm. everything they did on SNL with uh, the Bears and that, the whole, Bears. that whole regime. Yeah, yeah, Butkus and Ditka. That's why. That, that's <laughs> right. why. Between Mike Ditka – and Dick Butkus. <laughs> Those names Some are weird great. names there. You had to be tough if your name was Dick, Dick Butkus. Butkus. <laughs> he was the toughest SOB in football for, you know, a decade. And, and he, by the way, he was from Chicago. I looked it up. Wow. Um, this Sunday, so uh, RIP to Dick Butkus. Yeah. Uh, this Sunday, Giants take on the Dolphins in Miami, one o'clock. Uh oh. Uh, Giants, yeah, they're one and three. Miami's three and one. You might be getting a new quarterback at I the mean, end of the year. Giants and Bills are the next two. I mean, uh, uh, Dolphins and Bills are the next two matchups for the Giants. And if they don't win both games, that's, they, a, that's, that's a one, in five, uh -oh. yeah. one in five is what they're looking yeah. at. Things don't look good there. Now, 4 p.m., the Eagles go against the Rams. Philly's still undefeated. Yeah. Uh, L.A.'s 2-2. Two and two. And then at 425, the Jets play the Broncos in Denver. Both teams come into the game at 1-3. and three. Obviously, some bad blood. Jets are, are already talking about... Wanting to get revenge after Broncos head coach, now head coach, Sean Payton, uh, just verbally eviscerated oh, yeah. uh, Nathaniel yep. Hackett, That's who right. is the Jets offensive coordinator. But last year, he coached the Broncos, and Sean Payton Somehow said he, lost 22 games. <laughs> Sean Payton said he did the worst job. The worst head coaching job yeah. in NFL history. So payback time, bitch. It's, oh, it's, yeah. The Jets are looking at payback time. And how is it that I have gone from calling for Zach Wilson to go park cars? <laughs> I think for, <laughs> for the Red Bulls, not yeah. even the Jets, for the Red Bulls, to now picking him to win on Sunday. Well, yeah. I, how does that happen? If, I don't know. I think, if he, I think if he wins, then Jets fans have to be okay with Zach Wilson just, just for a little bit. Yeah, no, absolutely. But if he doesn't win, uh, if he doesn't beat the Broncos, who have really sucked this year, then, again, that is going to be a question of why are we sticking with Zach? Because the Broncos yeah, are bad. I hear you. Jets need to win this game. Mm, yeah. They should win it. They should win Their it. Their defense should easily solve Russell Wilson, who just does not look like the same player that he exactly. was on the Seahawks. And maybe it's a defensive win. Maybe it's a couple of pick yeah. sixes or some forced fumbles. Ten to three. You know. That's what you want. Uh, baseball, uh, Saturday MLB postseason resumes with four divisional matchups. One o'clock, Orioles play the Rangers in Baltimore. 445, uh, Astros matchup against the Twins in Houston. 6 p.m., we like this one locally, I guess. Uh, Phillies take on the Braves in Atlanta. 
And then 920, the Diamondbacks play the Dodgers in L.A. Basketball Joel Embiid said yesterday uh, that he is happy that James Harden's back on the team. He says Harden has not been a distraction. Embiid says he wants to focus on winning a championship. But if Harden does become a distraction, what will Embiid think? I'm hoping he'll think, I got to leave Philly and come to New York and win a championship with the Knicks and Jalen Brunson. So that's you what I'm hoping. You are really dreaming, aren't you? I am. Right. I have all my hopes in a fantasy scenario yeah. where Joel mm-hmm. Embiid becomes disgruntled mm-hmm. as a Philadelphia 76er, demands to be traded. other teams on the planet, and he's going to come straight to New well, York. I have a fantasy in my head that this I mean, is possible. Listen, the Amtrak goes right <laughs> under the guard. And then hockey players and teams are allowed to celebrate and support specialty causes, according to the NHL. They passed a new rule that said that players don't have to wear anything that celebrates a cause, but if they do, they are allowed to celebrate a cause as long as it fi- uh, uh, falls within each team's respective dress code. So there you go. Because there were some issues last year. Certain causes or this or that were, you know, yeah, trying yeah. to be. Pride Day and all that. Like stuff, yeah, with uh, the NHL. And then some certain players, especially Eastern European players, were like, I don't you know. I, don't I remember back in the day, the uh, only thing Scott Stevens, the great Scott Stevens of the oh. New Jersey Devils wanted to wear was his, the opponent's blood on, yeah. his, on his shoulder pad. What a player. <laughs> I miss him. Right. And that is your quick look at sports. The money shot code where it comes up.